What is up, my friends? So yesterday I made a post thanking each and every one of you who have subscribed to me. I have still yet to make my uh, celebratory post for our milestones we have reached, and we still have many, many more milestones to reach. But I just want to go ahead and take this time to thank each and every one of you for just following me, checking out all my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. <laughs> So yesterday was Thanksgiving, and as always, I hope each and every one of you have taken the time to just appreciate everything going on good in your life, in the world, and everything. And for a moment, try and forget what is wrong and what is going like not the way you intended to. Um, it's a moment of reflection and hoping that each and every one of you keep a positive note and just keep moving forward with it. But let's talk about a film that I have recently seen been trending on TikTok, Twitter, and just was like, I need to check out this film because many people are talking about how, like, it just gets to you. It strings a note in your heart, and it's like, if you don't cry or at least almost shed a tear, you got to watch it again because there is no way you don't after watching this. So the film is called If Anything Happens, I Love You. And this film basically deals with two grieving parents as we see them throughout the film sort of uh, separate even more and more as they're dealing with the loss of their younger child. Now we come to learn that the younger child actually was killed during a school shooting and so the trauma is even greater there. Um, so this is basically a movie that is going to get to you especially uh, with uh, events we've had throughout our generation um, that deal with these things and also just knowing that a lot of inspiration came from a lot of these events as well it is a very very um, hard uh, film to watch definitely um, so what we see happen as I said is the parents separate more and more due to the trauma that's building between them um, but what we find out throughout the middle part is that they actually find a way to come together again and that's through the shadow or light of their younger child that brings their own shadows together and thus bringing the people together by the end of it as they remember the memories that they had. So the title of the film, If Anything Happens I Love You, actually is the last text that the daughter sent just right before the shooting happened. And it is very much so just the part that really got to me, honestly. And by the end of it, it ends with the parents actually coming together and not being apart anymore. But it is still a bittersweet uh, ending as we don't see the daughter there with them anymore, sadly. And honestly, I, it just was like, damn, it really got to me, honestly. Um, I do believe it is a great film and done so beautifully in the 12 minutes that it was given or actually I think it was like 8 minutes if you take off like uh, credits and like title and all of that. So a powerful story told in that short amount of time and one I think that everybody should watch. It's just a great film. Of course it is definitely a triggering film if anybody's been in that situation or just lost anybody and I definitely... I um, do want to say it comes with a trigger warning for that. But overall, I did enjoy the film and I am uh, recommending it if you haven't watched it. Even if I've already spoiled what happens and everything in it. I don't think it's a film you could spoil. I think it's more of a movie that you sort of feel and just watch. So if you've already watched this film, let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it or not? Do you think it was... Uh, beautifully done or do you think it could have been different let me know i'm always open to everybody's opinion on here but i also want to talk about something new that's going to be coming to the channel now and i want to make it a monthly thing and that's a charity stream i want to be doing now um and pretty much what we're going to do I, i'm not sure if i want to do like a movie watch party or i'll play a video game and we'll just talk on the chat or whatever but we'll also be trying to do charities for it but that's going to be coming next month so let me know what you would want to see. Should I do like a movie watch party or a TV show watch party, something like that? Or maybe shorts or I, I don't know, just something that everybody can um, participate in uh, would be cool. And then just have a little charity going on. I just really want to do something. I just really want to do something like that uh, and just help others in need. I think it's something that we could definitely do as we're growing this community even more and more every day. It just feels like we could put a lot of that to good use as well. So that's something I've been like bouncing in my head. And I want to do the first one 
uh, next month for sure. And sometime maybe the week before Christmas is when I would want to do it. Or maybe we could do it on Christmas Day. Um, just like an hour or two, get on stream and just see how much impact we can make. That would definitely be uh, my goal. And just do it every month for years to come now. And just by the end of the year, we could maybe tally it up. It, it you know, It's just ideas I'm bouncing around. And just me trying to grow this channel even more. But also to use that growth for a greater good also. So let me know what you think about that and what do you think we should be doing? I, I really do think uh, we should do like a watch party or we could definitely do like a uh, video game like playthrough or something like that. Uh, so more on that next week as I research more on where I should do it because I don't know how YouTube's works but I did get a notification on my YouTube channel that I am able to start doing that and that's how I got the idea to just start incorporating it. Um, but I have also know that Twitch does it as well. So I don't know which one works better or how fees work and everything, which one takes more or if they don't take anything at all. So that's something I'm definitely looking into because I want to make sure that whatever one, whichever one we do is going to be um, the best one for the charities that we choose to do it for. So maybe we'll do like a uh, poll and see which one of the charities to do or something like that. You know, it's just ideas right now and i just wanted to get it uh, out in this video so you know what to, what's coming soon uh, but next week definitely we'll have more concrete uh answer to all of that and we'll see how it all works out but that is going to do it for me let me know what you think about the film um and if you watched it or not did you like it did you not comment that down below but we have some more videos coming out this weekend uh, a new concept video as well that I'm working on that's going to focus more on music um, that's going to be coming tomorrow so let me know what y'all think when that comes out and yeah that's going to do it I'll see all of you next time hope all of you had a good Thanksgiving uh, if you don't celebrate it hope it was a great day as well also happy holidays it's definitely the holiday spirit even though the world has been a little crazy this year we can look forward to um, the upcoming future to be brighter and that's all I can say is just keep your head up, keep going, and stay positive, my friends. But don't forget to uh, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. You can follow me on Twitter at NerdRound. You can follow me on TikTok. I have like three different TikToks, but the main one is Direct Bulletin for this channel. I'll leave the other ones down below for horror stuff, campfire tales. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. As always, stay safe, stay positive. Hey, if you're still listening, go ahead and check out the video on the left. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications. As always, stay positive.